have Morgabell is the most extensive aged range of Scottish whisky in the world. Okay, currently, anyone has it to guess where we are in terms of global Scottish? Number two. Number one. Yeah, number two behind. Number one behind? Yeah, well, number two behind. Oh, Johnny Walker. Yeah, of course, yeah. Number two behind Johnny Walker. Currently selling somewhere in the region of 70 million bottles a year. More than two bottles sold somewhere in the world every second. One visitor said our two bottles has been drunk somewhere in the world. <laughs> <laughs> so the first Valentine's finest, okay, launched in 1910. Currently number one in Europe, okay, in 12. Ooh. And if you look at a label with any Scotch, it tells you absolutely everything you need to know about the Scotch itself. So established in 1827 by George Ballantyne, much like many of the pioneering blenders at the time. If you look at James and John Chivas and John Walker, guys who are experimenting, bringing together the grain whiskies with the malt whiskies and trying to harmonise those more distinctive flavours. Mm. Okay. And he did that initially, uh, opening his store as a teenager in Edinburgh's Cowgate, which some of you may be familiar with. Expanded into Glasgow's Union Street about 32 years later with his sons. Okay a real pioneer in bringing together those whiskies and also aging whiskies themselves. 17 and 30, both with us since the 1930s. Okay, and you all know about Valentine's 17, or do you? Jim Murray's World Whiskey of the Year. The best bar none was it gave it 97 and a half out of 100. And he describes Sandy as a master blender at the very top of his game. A true work of art. So when you get down, you can say, so Sandy, I know that you're a <laughs> master blender at the very top of your game. And then, of course, Alan times 21. And again, if you look at the crest, you can see in the middle this crest. Okay. Granted in 1938 by Lord Lyon. And you can see it's got, first of all, the standard bearers. And on it, it's got, well, why am I trying to look on that? that there's other, that's <laughs> a, it's a royal warrant. That's not a royal warrant. The royal warrant is completely something else. If you see how you've got it by appointment, the royal warrant was actually awarded to Valentine's in 1895. Oh, well, so by appointment to the late Queen Victoria. Mm. Okay, the first of a number of royal warrants. This is actually something different. You have to apply to get this okay. crest from Lord line, okay? So we have the standard bearers representing the areas of Scotland, then of course we have the key aspects of whiskey production here, earth, water, air and fire. And horses. Okay. And horses, <laughs> just because they look great at home. Oh, and then you have the Latin amicus humae generis. Anyone has it against what it means? How's your Latin? Really, really tasty. Bloody lovely. <laughs> 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 These are all new, 17, 21 and 30. So from uh, 2010? Uh, yes, only in the last year. Yeah, Because so yeah. these wouldn't have been here last time you were here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it, means, it means a friend to all mankind. 